Eight-year-old Landon Solberg rang the bell at the Roger Maris Cancer Center this week, marking an end to an intense six weeks of radiation treatments. Cancer is not fun, but a special radiation therapist at the Roger Maris Cancer Center had the young patient looking forward to his treatments. This morning, we'll meet the woman who motivated Landon to never give up, even when things got tough. Turn the music up again for you, okay? If these blue scrubs were a team uniform, the radiation therapists at the Roger Maris Cancer Center would all be on <laughs> Team Landon. Taylor Swift on for you, buddy. All right, here we go. Because she's like my coach every day. She writes a letter to me, tells me what I have to do. Lindsay Gladue may be one of the most inspirational coaches you'll ever meet. You know, I just feel like I have to do something and if a hug is you know what I can give each and every day and uh, you know support or an encouraging word then you know it seems pretty little for what they're what they're going through. Lindsay is a radiation therapist and longtime friend of the Solberg family. Last year she was Landon's basketball coach. This year she's his cancer coach. He comes in every day with a smile on his face and just ready to do what he has to do and I just I think it showed me that, you know, you just have to live every day. Landon just underwent radiation treatments to fight an aggressive brain tumor. He went in five days a week for six weeks. He's doctoring at Mayo Clinic, but was allowed to do the treatments in Fargo. You feel like there's another hand involved in, in how the whole situation played out. So uh, why she's working here and why we ended up being able to have radiation here and, and how the whole treatment plan is gone. I tell my kids too all the time that God puts us in the places that we're supposed to be. And when I found out, you know, that he wasn't going to have to go to, to Mayo and we could do his treatments here, I think that was, was huge. Lindsay may just be Landon's guardian angel. After every treatment, she gave him a treat and a motivational note. They're all awesome, and she'll write, like, only five more to go or something or whatever it is for that day, and just something to make it look better than it actually is because it just makes it, like, ten times easier. And all the nurses are really, they're all just so awesome, and they always, they just make it more fun. Lindsay says the inspirational messages have helped her as much as her young patient. Her favorites are the Bible verses and the perfectly fitting sports quotes. One was from Babe Ruth, um, one of the first ones I actually gave him, and that was, it's hard to beat someone who never quits. And then the one um, today with um, Joe Belvano, with it kind of being March Madness and the whole basketball being his coach um, to, you know, um, don't give up. Don't ever give up. Landon isn't giving up. He has a whole team counting on him. The next step is chemo. And this coach says she isn't leaving his side. If he can do the treatments in Fargo, Lindsay says she'll continue to cheer him on from inside the cancer center's walls. Tell your mom to get better. This is just the first step in Landon's battle to celebrate wrapping up radiation treatments and moving forward with chemotherapy. His school is throwing a huge benefit for Landon. It's going to happen tomorrow at Freedom Elementary in West Fargo. It's open to everyone. It runs from 5 to 8 p.m. There will be a free will donation dinner, silent auction, bouncy houses, and a carnival. If you want more information, just head to our website, valleynewslive.com.